All right, so here are my settings. The thing that's going to be different is I'm going to be doing this test in 1440p instead of 4K. So here I'll have DLSS 2.1 and DLSS 2.4 on the right. So the reason why I'm using 2.1 is because it's what the game came with. I know I probably should have did 2.3 versus 2.4, but I wanted to use a file that the game originally came with. So. Did you see that? It's ghosting again. And it's actually worse. I went back, I installed DeagleSS 2.3.9, and it, the ghosting went away. Uh, I don't know. The ghosting trails is the most annoying thing to me in DeagleSS. my red dead or benchmark see the rams a little bit higher here as well nothing crazy guys i know my temps on my cpu are high i'm using a cheap cooler master hyper 212 evo i got a replacement coming i got a whole video coming out on that so you guys subscribe hit the notification bell if you, if you do want to see that so just going along in the benchmark here skipped along a lot of the benchmark mostly on just the cutscenes so I could line them up there. But you see the frame rates a little bit lower on DLSS 2.1. The DLSS you're looking more for you know picture quality more than performance because it's mostly going to be the same. Conclusion time. Do not install DLSS 2.4 on Metro Exodus. The ghost thing's terrible. Just update to 2.3, the latest one, and you'll be all set. This is it. Peace out. Take care of yourself. You can watch my next video right here. DLSS or something else.